Okay, we are at the end of our chapter on respect. Hopefully you've, well, most of you, it's probably just a review for you on this chapter, um, but some of you, maybe you've learned a little bit about respect from this chapter. Okay, so we ended yesterday with speaking about respecting your community, um, how you can show respect at home. So, and if you remember, we were talking about a community consists of a group of people with common interest who live in a certain area. So now we're going to talk about respect at school. Most of the ways you can show respect at home also apply at school. Chris's actions express respect when he makes fr or when he makes time for friends, listens consistent considerably considerately. I'm just going to start that sentence over. Jeez, I can't read today. Chris's actions express respect when he makes time for friends, listens considerately to teachers, completes assignments on time, and follows school rules. Respect involves taking an interest in your classmates' interests and activities. So just being respectful and listen to them. You may not agree on issues such as political or religious views, but you can show respect by listening. You also show respect when you're tactful with others. Tact is communicating something difficult without attacking another's feelings. To be tactful, you need empathy, the ability to understand what someone else is experiencing. You empathize by putting yourself in another's place and trying to see things from his or her point of view. In most cases, the more respect you show, the more you'll gain in return from teachers, other staff, school staff, classmates, and friends. And I had just sent an email this morning to some students who haven't completed an assignment for two weeks. It's the, the assignment was due two weeks ago, and I still they still haven't done it. And, you know, I've been working overtime without being paid. I've been working seven days a week, Saturdays and Sundays, trying to keep up with all students and all school schoolwork. And, um, you know, out of respect, they should check their assignments to make sure they're all finished. But then, on the other hand, I tried to empathize with them to figure out why they possibly haven't gotten the stuff done. Maybe it was an internet issue. Maybe it was because they've been sick for the last two and a half weeks because it was due two and a half weeks ago. I'm not really sure the, the circumstances, but I'm, sh I'm hoping that they'll show responsibility and showing responsibility also shows respect. Um, so that's just an example of, you know, respect at school, getting your work turned in on time, you know, taking the time to look at your own grades. You guys know how to access grades and look for assignments. And, you know, I think I had shown a Michael Jordan video a while ago. And, you know, he simply talked about, you know, just light the fire. Like, you know, just get the stuff done. Not, don't make excuses. So, you know, if you're making excuses at school as to why you're not getting stuff done, um, try to remember to get get that done. Okay, so there was the definition for empathy, the ability to understand what someone else is experiencing. And I think the next sentence is a really good one too after that where it says here, you empathize by putting yourself in another per person's place, like trying to understand what they have going on from their point of view. Okay, so the next one we're talking about in the neighborhood. I think that I love that picture of that dough. Okay, so in the neighborhood, neighbors show respect by watching out for other for each other. So look out for one another. Um, so watch for each other's safety and well-being. They stay informed about community issues, and this is in the neighborhood. Another way to show respect in your neighborhood is to properly dispose of trash and to recycle glass, newspaper, cans, and plastic products. That's also taking care of the environment. Courtney shows respect for or to her neighbors by keeping her stereo volume at a level that doesn't wake up her neighbor's baby. 
Or, you know, at night, if you're outside and you're listening to the radio, keep it down if you have a bunch of neighbors. Um, respecting the environment. When you respect the environment, you show respect to yourself and your family. Everyone's health and well-being are directly related to the health and well-being of the environment, both at home and around the world. And I think I had mentioned that earlier, that, you know, when you're on vacation or you're working internationally in another country, um, it's important to be respectful there, too. Okay, so this is the chapter summary, which goes over everything we've talked about for the chapter. Respect involves showing regard for people, the environment, and yourself. When people show respect and common courtesy to each other, they help make life easier and more positive. And then usually a community runs really well when everyone's respecting each other and it's a very positive situation or community to be in. Self-respect involves valuing your life and body. You show respect for your community by doing your part to take care of it. To show respect at home, consider the feelings of others, help out, take responsibility for your actions, and follow family rules. Three more to go. Being tactful and emphasize, empathizing with others are ways to show and gain respect at home and school. Neighbors show respect when they watch out for each other's safety and well-being. When you respect the health and well-being of the environment, you show respect to yourself and your family. Okay, and this is the end of the chapter. I also have linked the whole entire chapter review, and you could read that, or you could watch that as well. I think it's a 20-minute video. So that's all for now for Chapter 8.